Once, in a place far away, a very long time ago, there was a boy named Roger. He was tall but a bit round. He lived in a big city where unusual things seemed to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. Anyway, Roger had lots of enemies in the city. All the people he used to like were now his enemies because he changed. He used to be a really successful banker named Ron, but he decided to go a different way, and now he's a hobo named Roger. Because of this, his friends thought they didn't like him anymore, so they said, You're our enemy now. And Roger was like, Oh no, I have no friends but loads of enemies. Roger lives day to tomorrow by the change he gets off strangers outside McDonald's, but sometimes he... When he gets enough money, he goes to the local shopping center called Teco. He can only buy things when they are on sale, so he only buys things when they are on sale because he doesn't have any much money. Sometimes, he even gets enough change to buy chicken when it's on sale, and he goes into KFC and says, Can you cook this for me? And they do it because they are his enemies and spit in the food, yuck. Today, on the most windy and stormy and rainy and cloudy and sad of days, he decided he needed to eat and went to Teco. When he went inside, there were no baskets. This was weird. Roger thought that they must be giving them a break today, so he kept going. He saw that three bread was on sale, so he was going to buy it, and then a big, fat, hairy man ran up next to him and said, No! That's not for you! And he took the sale sign away, which made the bread go back up to $100,000. This is all in the future, so that's normal for the future. Roger made a face and said, But if you don't give me that, I will strove. And the fat man laughed, and his fat went bouncy from laughing. Then, one of Ron's enemies died, so Ron felt his anger rising. That's what happens when his enemies die. And he punched the man so hard that his fat fell off, and the man was so angry that he cried blood. Then, the lights went out so fast that Roger knew he was going to be murdered. A black mist came out from the cereal boxes, and the bacon was flying everywhere. Pancake mix splashing all over the counters. Freezers freezing at higher temperature than normal so that it was freezing the frozen pizzas as too much. Ron ran way far away to an, the aisle that's always full of people. It has like loads of sweets and crips. Yummy. There was like 10, no wait, 15 monsters there. All black with eyes oogieing with blood and tears that looked like bacon but were actually dead people's skin. He screamed, Fat Man, help! But when the fat man came her, he said, you punched my fat, and now you will pay. I am your enemy. And then he ran and went inside a freezer, but forgot that the freezers froze too hard, and now he died from freeze. Roger ran to an exit and was almost out when he trippied on something. He looked down and saw his enemy, saying, Help me, the pancakes were too string. And then he said, No, I am Roger. You were Ron's friend, not mine, Smelly. And he ran out the door. He was safe. He got out. He escaped. He avoided death. He was alive. He was tall. He was safe. He was Roger. Then he went back in for the bread but forgot about the monsters. So when he got the bread, the monsters came out from between the slices and cried blood from their months, saying, We are your enemies, Ron. And he said, How do you know my old name? And they ate him, and he just fell down on the floor, crying from death. His last words were, I am all of your enemies. Then he fell down and died. Just before he died, he said, I will now be a supermarket monster. So when you were in a supermarket, remember that Ron is waiting. In the future, though, because it's in the future, remember?